what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing a hair video okay i don't really do hair videos on my channel but i figured i would try to film this process so i'm gonna be doing some faux locks um so you see i'm starting with my hair all twisted up i decided to do twists rather than braids just because it felt a little bit lighter there's not as much tension and twists are just a little bit easier to take down so yeah i just finished twisting my hair up hopefully y'all be able to see Ugh, let me see so we got i don't know how many twists are on my head but i just oh let me see if i can turn around so y'all can see what we're looking like i hope y'all can see that but yeah that's what we're starting with um they're not perfect but that's the beauty of locks they're not supposed to be perfect they look more natural and better the more messy and less perfect that they are i still wanted them to be neat but i didn't make them like super super perfect so so i ended up getting these these are the model model trini locks these are crochet locks in T530. So you can see they got some little burgundy on the end and then it's kind of like black, which is fine because my roots are black. <clears throat> Technically, I could have done black, but I didn't want to. And then to wrap, I just got one pack of this Jamaican braid hair and it is in the color burgundy. Y'all can't really see it in here, but... It's burgundy. Y'all will see it whenever I do uh, my hair. I just got one pack because I'm going to cut that in half. So, yeah. I've never done my locks this way. I've only ever done crochet locks or just wrapping. I did the just wrapping method only one time. And from what I remember, it was pretty daggone cute. But I can't remember the hair I used. It was a long time ago. And then I did crochet locks. But I, I stopped doing them because my braid would always slip out of the crochet which would annoy me so that's why I'm gonna do crochet and wrapping this time to hopefully my hair will stay intact so yeah I'm gonna see what I can do see if I can get some of these done I don't even have my crochet needle out here um I'm gonna see if I can get at least a little bit done this is gonna go into tomorrow because it's after school I still have to stop and make dinner and get everybody ready for a bed and do bedtime routine and stuff so this will continue on into tomorrow but since I finished doing my twist I figured I would go ahead and try to see if I could do it how I see the girls doing it see if I could see if I could at least try to figure it out because I don't I don't really know y'all I don't really know but so we're gonna we're gonna see all right so i'm gonna try one damn where my new go oh, here it is i'm not gonna explain it just yet because i don't feel like i know what i'm doing but once i get it down then i might try to explain it but there's a lot of videos on youtube and stuff about it that's where i i i looked so I hope this don't mess up my twist. Okay. Taz. Yeah. Relax. Okay. Oh my goodness. This feels like not a I don't feel like I'm doing this right. Oh my goodness. Somebody explain. I'm finna have to look. I'm finna have to look at a video. Okay, I'm back. I could not figure out how to get the crochet thing on here. So I've I've got my crochet lock on my hair. And now I've made my hair shorter. Okay, so all my hair is up here. So y'all saw my actual twist is like down here but now i done put it up here so now now i need to try to wrap it oh shit i think that this is supposed to go through here too okay and then i put the i'll put this my wrapping here 
this is gonna take me so long put my wrapping hand in here and then pull that pull it through so I should have a short a short side on my one side come on a little short okay okay now I'm supposed to wrap do as much as I can do while getting ready for dinner and stuff and then I guess I'll I'll just I'll come back when I'm like at the top so I can actually explain what I'm doing okay all right y'all it's about 7 40 we had dinner and this is where we are right now so this is what they look like <laughs> yeah yeah you gave Luna your toy so now she's got it <clears throat> um yeah this is what they look like i've done about three rows i think so i'm probably gonna stop here because yeah it's bath time and stuff so <laughs> as you can see she's ready for her bath so but yeah this is this is what they look like learning some things along the way but yeah this is where we are so i'll see y'all tomorrow to finish it off okay Good morning you guys it's the next day today is wednesday so i just have three left and we're gonna do these together and i'm gonna try to explain what i've done and then i will take it down and show you guys the full product so got my crochet needle i'm gonna go ahead and open it and i'm gonna put it through my crochet lock and like kind of push it all the way to the end Okay, then I'm going to take my twist and I'm going to go like a little, a little below the root, put my twist in the hook, close it, and then pull it through, oops, pull it through the, um, what you call it, hold on yo, look, see now this is one of the issues that I have with my twist is sometimes my twist will come undone, so we're going to try that again, okay? Put your crochet thingy on the hook. I need to twist this a little bit because it's coming unraveled. And we'll talk about we'll talk about the twists in a little bit. But all right, put the twist in the hook. Oops, and pull it through the loop of the crochet. Okay, so it, the crochet piece should be on your twist like this oh, okay it doesn't necessarily matter where it is but it'll be up here okay so now I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm going to put it through the root this time okay now I'm going to open my hook put the end of my twist through the hook on the hook close it and pull the end of the twist through the root so it should look like this so I should have a little loop here and a little end piece here okay and that, that's what it's gonna look like okay now I'm gonna take a piece of my hair my wrapping hair okay this is my hair and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of spread it out okay I'm gonna take ooh, I'm gonna take my crochet hook again through the root put my 
wrapping hair in the hook. Uh oh. Put my wrapping hair in the hook. Hello. Close it. Pull it through. And I should have a you should have a short side and a long side, okay? Now I'm gonna take my short piece of wrapping hair, the long end of my twist and my crochet with the little loop here. I'm gonna hold all of that together and I'm gonna wrap all of that with this wrapping hair, okay? So at the top, when I first start wrapping, I'm gonna wrap tight and close to the top and I'm gonna do it a couple of times just for added security. And then once I start to go down, I'm gonna make sure my hair is spread out and then I'm gonna wrap pretty loose like I'm not wrapping this, I'm not wrapping this tight at all. <clears throat> so I'm just taking this and wrapping it around, making sure the hair is spread out so it can cover what it needs to cover. And you can see that this is getting like thin. So I'm gonna add another piece here in a second because the ends of this hair are thin so I'm gonna go ahead and add another piece <clears throat> okay so I'm just gonna take this take the short piece and add it to the lock and the other short pieces and then I'm gonna take the long piece over here where the other long piece was I hope this is making sense this is I mean I guess you can call it a tutorial but I'm just trying to tell you what I did and show you how it worked out for me so I added that little piece there and I'm just gonna continue to wrap. Loosely, 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 okay? So I'm just gonna wrap that all the way down. And for me, you can see it's making like little red spirals cause I have this red piece. That does not necessarily bother me, but if it bothers you, you can try to mix mix it in with the other hair but i mean everything is red so or red and burgundy burgundy red whatever so i don't really care but i'm just gonna wrap down until all that hair that i was holding is covered so you see i still have like this little piece ow, this little piece of hair down here i'm just gonna keep wrapping so everything is covered up Then, once that piece is covered, I'm just gonna start wrapping back up. Cause I'm not wrapping down the entire lock. So this part is still like the actual crochet lock. I'm not wrapping the whole crochet lock. So I'm just gonna start wrapping upwards. Just Okay, and once that's done, I'm just gonna palm roll it in my hand, and there we go. Boom. All right, so I'm gonna do another one. I mean, I guess I just do these two with you guys because I only have these left. So hopefully this is helpful to somebody trying to do this. I literally just got on Pinterest and YouTube, so crochet onto the hook we are putting our twist through the hook and pulling it through the crochet loop hook through the root end of the twist in the hook pull it through the root to make a little 
Okay. My wrapping hair is all in a big old pile, so it's stuck together. All right. Whoops. Hook through the rope, wrapping hair in the hook. Maybe, here we go. Pull it through, ow. Pull it through. And we're gonna grab everything and wrap. And wrapping tightly at the top. And then loosen it up as we go down. see all of it but oh that's it okay can y'all see this can y'all even see this all right this is what it looks like just completely i don't know freshly done i guess um i don't know if i'm supposed to put mousse on this or heat on this i saw somebody like blow drying it but I don't know if I'm supposed to, I don't know, I don't know, but this is what it looks like. This is how long it is. Let's see if we can do a back, a back shot. All right, I hope y'all can see that. So, yeah, that's it. It's not like super, I don't know, nice looking i mean it looks nice right but it's not like um what's the word like neat you know and it's not supposed to be neat so it's real messy it's real bumpy and lumpy but i feel like that is the beauty of locks like oh I, li I like it to this side I, that's real cute that's real cute um so yeah i think though i'm gonna cut it <laughs> because I'm just kind of over long hair and this isn't that long, but I just, I, 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 feel, I feel like I want to cut it like to like right here, you know? So I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and, and cut it down. Um, I don't I have like an off centered middle part. So I don't know. I'm just going to try to split it in half here. And go ahead and cut it. I don't usually wear my hair short. I do typically wear it long, but I'm just over long hair, so I think I'm gonna cut it, y'all. I feel like I need bigger scissors. Hold on. All right, I got some scissors, so I'm scared. I'm scared to cut it, but I don't want. I don't want 
I don't want it long. So let's see. Okay. Hello. Come on. Oh, so this is now. think it will come unraveled but I'm probably gonna go through and like palm roll the ends just to be safe I hope this looks okay like from the back because I don't cut child it is what it is okay hopefully I cut this <laughs> evenly is this or is this right I feel like it kind of sprung back up a little bit yeah you see how it's like going up Oh my god, please don't be uneven. That looks pretty even. Oh, okay. So, that's it, you guys. That's it. That's it right there. Look how cute that is. I think it's cute. Why is this one? It's like all bent up. I don't know. I think it's cute though. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think it's cute. I think that with a full. Not a full face of makeup, but when I put some makeup on and lay my edges down, it'll be it'll be cute. I wonder if I should burn the ends. Do you burn the ends? Yeah. I think this is this is the vibe that I wanted. So I think I think that we succeeded, okay? I think I think I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Y'all let me know what you think. But <clears throat> I think it's cute. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through and palm roll some of the ends. Um, and I might end up burning the ends, honestly, but I guess I'm gonna figure out what I'm supposed to do next. Like, if I need to put mousse or something in it, I don't know, but this is it, you guys. <laughs> this is it. Um, oh, let me, let me kind of talk through some tips, okay? So, tip number one, braid your hair. Don't twist your hair. Or at least braid the top and then twist the rest of the way down. And I say that because the braids are gonna be flatter, okay my twists like expanded like they kind of like puffed up which is why i had to wrap it looser because the pieces were bigger like once i looped it through and was trying to wrap it all it was kind of chunky so if you don't want them to be chunky then braid it but like can y'all see like how it's just kind of big it's just kind of big you know um which there's nothing wrong with that but if you want them to be smaller, like at the top, then do uh, braids. Number two is get you some, I don't know, some proper hair. Get the, get the springy twist hair, okay? Go on and get the springy twist hair because not that this hair isn't good. I feel like it looks fine. Um, I just struggled with like the ends because you see how thin the end of this is I feel like the springy twist hair is not like that so it'll just be a little bit easier if you get the springy twist hair but those are really my only tips um this did not take long at all I think I did some last night and I stopped at like 7 30 I don't remember what time I started this morning but it's 11 now and if I was braiding my hair like if I was doing my box braids, I would still be braiding and it would be taking me forever. So yeah, this didn't this didn't take long. And again, like I said, it's messy, distressed, and that is the way it's supposed to look. It's not supposed to look nice and crispy and clean and perfect. And that's why I like it. So yeah that's it you guys um thank you for watching my kind of tutorial and i will see y'all in the next video